What's up, my beautiful people? Welcome back to another episode of Summer's View, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, I'm so much hyped today, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, that was a wise break. But tomorrow is a good day, ladies and gentlemen. The time that I'm recording right now is on a Saturday evening. The time is about, right now, the time is about 5.35 ish, ladies and gentlemen, in the evening. But tomorrow is an exciting day. Tomorrow is Sunday. The time that I'm recording this video is on a Saturday evening, ladies and gentlemen. But I do want to say this. Tomorrow, we are going to be going on a solo road trip, ladies and gentlemen. Where and how and what we are taking out i'll tell you all about that on the tomorrow's gopro ladies and gentlemen but let me tell you this for now ladies and gentlemen it's going to be one of the most scariest ride of my life ladies and gentlemen why i'm going to be taking out one of the most revered respected as well as the scariest motorcycles on planet earth ladies and gentlemen what that motorcycle is and where i'm off to ladies and gentlemen well you'll see all of that on tomorrow ladies and gentlemen so stick around uh, well, I'll catch you guys on the GoPro. Well, ladies and gentlemen, starting off the video strong with this motorcycle, ladies and gentlemen. What? It looks slim, right? This is the 1981 model of the Yamaha iX100, ladies and gentlemen. It's an air cooled single cylinder engine with a torque induction motor, considering of 11 PS at 7,500 RPM. Max torque is about 8.3 Newton meters at 6,500 RPM, ladies and gentlemen. Both consist of drum brakes at the front and the rear. Well, it is a uh, all analog unit. Uh, vehicle ladies and gentlemen before going off to a fresh start ladies and gentlemen I need to show you what this motorcycle sounds but before that a little bit intro to this motorcycle this is one of the most beautiful motorcycles it's all analog all mechanical parts ladies and gentlemen so uh, well first off show uh, fuel on and let's hear the sound shall we Well, ladies and gentlemen, starting off, where are we off to? Well, let me tell you that on another segment, ladies and gentlemen, but before going on, stuck in traffic as usual, ladies and gentlemen. But this is one of the best places to explain where am I off to, ladies and gentlemen. Well, first and foremost, I always thought of taking this motorcycle out for a road trip, ladies and gentlemen, but I have never been able to do it. Today, we are taking this motorcycle on a road trip, ladies and gentlemen, where we are going to be going to checkpoint number one which is Varlia in Uti ladies and gentlemen it's about 53 kilometers approximately from my house and it has a lot of steep turns as well as steep slopes and gradients ladies and gentlemen and one of the most horrifying part about this road trip is because this bike has uh, you know it doesn't have a uh, ABS traction control, disc brakes, or of any of sorts. It's a pure manual motorcycle, and the skill of the rider comes into play. Due to its smaller thickness of its tire, both front and back, ladies and gentlemen, it's gonna be a slippery ride on the top as well as going down, ladies and gentlemen. And while I'm going down, I should also not be touching the brake. I must be using only the engine braking, ladies and gentlemen. And starting off strong, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see on the left side, this is actually a farm and it's going to be closed for you know uh, by the central government uh, because there is a lot of pollution happening and as well as there are a lot of new things going to be happening inside so the first and foremost this turn is that not i mean not that much of a bigger turn ladies and gentlemen you might have understand what this means ladies and gentlemen if you have a car or a motorcycle most of you might have a 150 or 200cc motorcycle and that motorcycle is pretty much easy to get up on this hill but if you have a 100cc a vehicle or even a lesser than that of a 100 cc vehicle ladies and gentlemen then you you will know the altitude as well as the gradient and the slopes of this you know of the track i mean of the road ladies and gentlemen and that's why i wanted to do this road trip particularly because as you can see on the right hand screen right now ladies and gentlemen my speed meter is not working so that I have an analog, I mean I have a digital speedometer working on my phone. As you can see, I'm at third year at full throttle and the top I can go is about 36 kilometers per hour, ladies and gentlemen. Why that is? Because it's due to 
लो एयर एंड हाई यू नो असेंडिंग वैल्यू लेडीज इन द मदर आई मीन द रोड सरफेस इज एब्सोल्युटली ट्रेमेंडस आई थिंक इट्स सो इट्स अबाउट 5 10 डिग्री स्टीपर लेडीज इन द मदर एंड विथ विथ दैट आल्सो देयर इज गोना बी अ लॉट ऑफ यू नो हैपिंग बेंड्स ऑन द ट्रैक लेडीज इन द मदर एंड सम आर गोना बी यू नो अ ट्रेमेंडस एंड सम आर गोना बी अ लिटिल बट इजी एंड सम आर हैव टू टेक केयर सो द फर्स्ट टर्न दैट वी आर गोना बी एनकाउंटरिंग इज Think so, almost a full return, ladies and gentlemen. And and the better part of this that I forgot to tell you about this, ladies and gentlemen. This is a hundred cc eighty, and it has torque all the way down, ladies and gentlemen. So let's say about thousand thousand two hundred rpm. So I must not use first gear on any of the you know uh, gradient up up slopes, ladies and gentlemen, because I might tend to do a weary at. It's still in second gear, ladies and gentlemen, and still it's suffering, ladies and gentlemen, to get up a goddamn hill. That's how much uh, slope it has. And also, ladies and gentlemen, do not worry. I'm uh, I'm perfectly safe, as you can see right now. Yes, I'm not wearing any gloves, but I do have all my riding gears with me. It's too hot right now. This I think the temperature is around 92, 93 uh, degree Fahrenheit right now, or Fahrenheit or Celsius, whatever that is. And it's pretty hot to wear gloves. I'm already sweating inside, ladies and gentlemen. I have a half jacket. I have my riding pads as well as I have my riding shoes on, ladies and gentlemen. And and before going further into this, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you this: if uh, you know, if there is a lot of traffic, I might I might shut the I mean camera down, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm not going that much far up on the hills, ladies and gentlemen. Already many people might have seen the. Put aside, ladies and gentlemen, and I don't want to make this a boring video for you. But I just wanted to tell you how hard it is to manage and maintain an older motorcycle from the previous generations. And this motorcycle, in particular, ladies and gentlemen, is feared among even the most experienced riders. As you can see on the right side, that's a GTM coming right over there. And pretty much to say so, I'm just keeping up cool with that motorcycle. And there are a couple of riders too from Kerala. I think though there are the CBS one and more cycles, ladies and gentlemen. I think so. It's a two fifty cc motorcycle, and it is considered to be one of the most underrated motorcycles too. So, but leave all of that. But look at the scenery that I'm seeing right now, ladies and gentlemen. If I do a little bit of color correction, which I'm gonna do obviously, it's gonna look absolutely spectacular, ladies and gentlemen. And the purpose of me doing this ride, ladies and gentlemen, for the past week and a half, it's not been going good for me, both mentally as well as physically, ladies and gentlemen. I've been a lot of work outside. You know, I had to take care of mom as well as bills, you know, work. There's been an on and on and on, ladies and gentlemen. And the people who are trying to help me are also, you know, in a not in a good state to help me too, ladies and gentlemen. And I have been hearing a lot of bad things about myself too, and that's why the editing has become a slow down process, as well as I have slow down editing as well as you know putting up on YouTube, ladies and gentlemen. It's a hell for a bustle, ladies and gentlemen. And I thought, you know what? Let it today is Sunday, ladies and gentlemen, and let's. Let's go for a ride. Let's you know. Let's break up our um, mental stress and do quite few rides again, ladies and gentlemen. Usually when I do these kinds of rides, I usually do it with my homies. But uh, this time I thought, you know what? Let's do it alone. And I usually do it with my bike friends, ladies and gentlemen. Because Sunday this is, uh, I think so. This is 10:30 in the morning. I usually do not do this type of ride at this type of time, ladies and gentlemen. By 10:30 I must have been at home, ladies and gentlemen. But today. I thought before going to bed. You know what? Let me take a good night rest and let's get up at morning about nine, nine thirty, nine forty-five, and let's go head out. And it's been almost an hour since uh, you know to reach here because this vehicle that I'm riding right now, the top speed on this is sixty, and doesn't mean that the top speed is only limited to sixty because sixty is the sweet spot on this motorcycle. More than sixty, you're gonna feel everything. But this is a pure mechanical motorcycle. And you're gonna feel every single bit of it. So 60 is the sweet spot, and you cannot rush it more, ladies and gentlemen. If you rush it more, there's gonna be, you know, uh, more parts that are gonna be destroyed inside the motorcycle and outside the motorcycle. So, and it's very hard to find uh, parts for this motorcycle, ladies and gentlemen. So I thought, you know what? Let's take it slow and steady, ladies and gentlemen. So it's been almost an hour since I, I mean, uh, reached the. Starting point of duty. I think so. They are collecting a lot of these inside. I'm not sure on how it is and how they got it. But for me, as well as for us, 
you know as you can see on the front there are a couple of riders most of them they didn't get any tickets or any you know fines and they just told us to go outside and just uh, with that seeing we thought of you know what let's enjoy let's spectacular so uh, still we are not yet reached the first checkpoint which is Burlia ladies and gentlemen that's what I'm gonna do and maybe I'll take a one or two kilometers above that because we do have a little bit of quite a windy turns ladies and gentlemen okay traffic has slowed down a bit there is a lot of construction going on it seems on the top so that's why it's been a little bit it's been about five minutes since I stopped that recording bit ladies and gentlemen so, back again moving freely as you can see right now on the left is quite a bit of sand it seems there are a lot of road works and a lot of you know landslides happening at the top so i don't want to stress this motorcycle too much uh, i'm gonna go to the first checkpoint burlia and about five or ten minutes or so uh, i'm gonna stop as well as oh admire the older bridge ladies and gentlemen i'm gonna stop take a u-turn and come back ladies and gentlemen maybe till then uh, enjoy the rest of this. I'll put some music too, ladies and gentlemen, so that you can have a little bit of fun. And I'm gonna stop talking. Enough of me talking and enjoy your scenery, ladies and gentlemen. Well, ladies and gentlemen, entering the first checkpoint. This is Burli Yard, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, uh, well, I'm not going to be stopping right over here because if I do need to stop, I need to get a, uh, you know, uh, something cool, cool off my body. It's been so hard to decide, ladies and gentlemen. With all the gear that I'm wearing, it's pretty hard. And if I do stop, I need to buy. And as of right now, my sim is not working, ladies and gentlemen. That tower is quite bad. So I need a little bit of money to do so, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm not going to be stopping here, but. You might be seeing a lot of cars and other motorcycles, but you might not be seeing a lot of RX hundreds on the, you know, on two side, ladies and gentlemen. You might be seeing a RX one thirty five. That is a little bit different, ladies and gentlemen, because RX one thirty five has a little bit more power, but not RX hundred. It's a tough motorcycle to drive, ladies and gentlemen, and it will break you from inside. So another another you can gonna be, I mean, second gear half clutch out, ladies and gentlemen. If I do need it, I'm gonna pop in the clutch and just go off. As of right now, second year, pretty good. Oh my god. Beauty, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Might might be thinking, let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. If you have a lot of problems in your head, in your life, ladies and gentlemen, in general, take a road trip like this. Come to a fancy location like this and see the whole world. Before that, ladies and gentlemen, your problems are all just you know, a small pebble or a small stone, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, it's a struggling little bit. I'm putting it to second gear. About 25 kph, not bad. Doing about the speed limit, ladies and gentlemen, which is about 40. And most of the drivers that are driving here are not doing 40, ladies and gentlemen. I, I, I did see a lot of uh, people that are, you know, the local in the area, and they're driving like madmen. They're driving around 60 to 80 kph, ladies and gentlemen. Even the taxi drivers, they don't care about the road. Always remember, ladies and gentlemen, when you're going up, but you leave a way for the people that are coming down, as well as keep in your lane, ladies and gentlemen. Stay in your lane. But most drivers of this local area, they're not doing that, ladies and gentlemen. They're just hitting the fast out. So as you can see right now, they're expanding the road to a little bit and as well as there are a lot of work going on so from here i'm gonna just stop it and i'm just gonna take a u-turn and come back down ladies and gentlemen which is gonna be a whole lot of a different segment uh well it's gonna be a little bit difficult ladies and gentlemen there has been another traffic jam which i had to stand for about 10 minutes or so and as you can see they're leaving uh both sides one by one ladies and gentlemen it's a tough choice it's a tough driving ladies and gentlemen and well uh just give me one second ladies and gentlemen i'll just make a quick u-turn and we'll go down from there i'm not gonna you know talk while i'm driving downstairs ladies and gentlemen because i need to concentrate a little bit more uh but i'll let you guys enjoy it i'll add some cool music and cool effects to it look too ladies and gentlemen and whenever there's gonna be a you know u-turn i'm gonna add a little bit of spicy slow motion shots ladies and gentlemen. so hope you enjoy i'll see you guys back home yeah maybe show
home right now. The time that I'm recording this is about Sunday at the evening 7.20 ladies and gentlemen, hope you can see it. But it was a fun ride and as well as an adventurous one ladies and gentlemen. Hope you like this video ladies and gentlemen. Hope I think so. I did entertain you a little bit in this ladies and gentlemen. If you have any thoughts or any suggestion on how to edit uh, you know my future videos please do leave it in the comment section below ladies and gentlemen and while you're down there you know what to do ladies and gentlemen hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell notification you know the thing with the bell icon so that you receive every single updated video that I upload to the channel ladies and gentlemen and with that said follow me on all the socials I'll see you guys on the next episode with that said take care and peace